Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. I'm Alex and I hope you're feeling good today. It's nearly Megan's birthday and today we are seeing plenty of birthday inspired stories in the news. First up we have this. Harry buys ludicrously expensive birthday cake for Duchess lavish A-list happy 40th. Once again this is from the sun so you can take this story with a pinch of salt. It's something about some cake that Harry has apparently bought for Meghan, which was again allegedly £160, and again apparently it's called a naked cake because some of the layers are visible underneath the icing. Before the showstopper will make its appearance, it's reported that guests will enjoy grazing tables with locally sourced foods and wines. The guest list for her birthday has yet to be revealed but it is expected that her mum, Doria, and close pal, Oprah, will be there. So this sounds like a very presumptuous story. The headline in the sun, I believe, comes from this Vanity Fair story. Inside the Duchess of Sussex 40th birthday plans, orchestrated by A-list events specialist Colin Cowie. Of course, in case you didn't know, Meghan's birthday is on Wednesday the 4th of August, and she will be turning 40. Vanity Fair are claiming the birthday party is being organised by celebrity favourite party planner Colin Cowie. Meghan will welcome friends to the Sussex's Montecito mansion for a special celebration held in line with current coronavirus restrictions in California, where limits on such gatherings have recently eased. An unnamed source claimed that the Duchess has recruited the services of Colin Cowie an event specialist who was voted number one in American Vogue's Ultimate Wedding Planner Master List in 2018, after hearing about him from her close friend Oprah Winfrey. The party planner's website is chock-a-block filled with testimonials from the likes of actress Alyssa Milano, producer and TV host Ryan Seacrest and entrepreneur Rehan Chowdhury, as well as Oprah herself, who says simply, he's the man to call if you want to have a good time, no question about it. His client list also includes Jennifer Aniston, Tom Cruise and Kim Kardashian. While he's no stranger to creating opulent events as a scroll through his 186k follower Instagram profile can attest, Meghan's 40th birthday bash will reportedly be a low-key affair with around 65 guests in attendance. It also states that rather than a formal seated diner, Meghan is said to have opted for a grazing table format, offering attendees an abundant spread of locally sourced food and wines to choose from. Harry is said to have entrusted with ordering a cake from Santa Barbara Bakery, Posies and Sugar, which specializes in creating bespoke naked cakes in which some of the cake layers are visible beneath the icing, adorned with elegant floral decorations. Their cakes come in a range of flavours, from classic vanilla bean to more unusual options like lemon drop and coconut cream, plus frosting and fillings spanning the likes of buttercream, peanut butter, maple cream cheese, dolce de leche and fresh berries, a three-tiered round cake serving up to 30 people costs $225. In other news, looks like we have another book on the way about Meghan, written by AA Royal Reporter. If you look at this title of this article, you would be mistaken to think that this will be a positive book. But no, this will be yet another part of the smear campaign. It says here, Megastar Meghan Markle humiliated her critics and humbled royal family. Her next step is to conquer the world, says biographer. Meghan Markle humiliated her critics and humbled the royal family, according to a biographer. Tom Bauer believes Meghan's next step is to conquer the world, ahead of her 40th birthday on Wednesday. He continues, within just 18 months of snubbing the Queen and abandoning Britain, Meghan and Harry are enjoying an enviable lifestyle in their 11 million nine bedroom, 16 bathroom palace north of Los Angeles. Financed by multi-million dollar contracts with Netflix, Spotify 
and a four book publishing deal, she is sitting in the sunshine beside a huge swimming pool in a five acre manicured garden, plotting how to realize her breathtaking ambitions. At 40, Megan rightly feels that she is at the height of her powers, the master navigator of her own narrative and Prince Harry's fate. At her milestone age, the Duchess of Sussex can congratulate herself on defying all the odds. He doesn't sound so bad, but cast your mind back to an interview on GMB. Here he is, you remember, he called her a D-list actress, I believe, that she had no career and nothing before becoming a royal, which was not true. She was a millionaire before meeting Harry, earned by working as an actress predominantly, something most royals don't understand, you know, working for a living. And here is a more honest report on this new book. Meghan warned, as most feared biographer vows to tell truth on Duchess. Britain's most feared biographer is racing to complete his bombshell book on the Duchess of Sussex, vowing that it will tell the truth about her life. Investigative journalist Tom Bauer has reportedly signed a six-figure advance to pen an unauthorised account. He said, I'm writing it now, it will tell the truth when it comes out next year. In other news, and talking about books, it was revealed that an updated version of Finding Freedom by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand will be released on the anniversary of Princess Diana's death, August 31st. The book, which gives behind-the-scenes account of Meghan and Harry's life, will now feature a section detailing their heartbreak following the death of Prince Philip in April. The new section will also recount Meghan's emotional healing journey from losing a child to the birth of their daughter, and will detail the couple's relocation to California, according to publisher HarperCollins. Thank you for listening, and I will see you in the next video.